be humble, be curious, and be empathetic. You can't fake it, but it will help. You can't show it in a resume as clearly as you can show it in person. So getting in front of people is the most important thing. I've probably, there's very few people we've turned away because of their paper. We want to get people in front of us, get to know them a little bit, and figure out two things, if they're going to fit with us and if we're going to fit with them. If you don't like our hours, you don't like our work, our wages, our benefits, or whatever about the environment doesn't work for you, then that's great. That's fine. You'll go be happy somewhere else. Uh, but people that the company meshes well with, we do fit into your life and make it better, that's where we're really going to get great work. I've interviewed a lot of people over the 27 years we've been in business. You know, we have five locations, so we have quite, quite a few team members. I like when someone comes in and actually asks questions. Most won't say anything. You know, prepare yourself a little bit. Go on the company's website. F find some things out about them. Find some questions to ask. When you ask me a question about my business, one, it tells me you cared enough to learn a little bit. And, and that, that tells me a lot about their character and who they are. So I, I like them. Everyone wants to say, oh, well, they, they want to, you know, come in on time, all the soft skills. But really, if you show interest in the business you want to join, I, I think it speaks a lot. And it, it, to me, it, it raises you up on the ladder of, of who we pick. I've been asked some interesting questions, and one of them was recently. I, I had a, a young man that was in our uh, youth apprenticeship program, and he's graduated just graduated school and he wants to join a register program his parents came in with him and they we talked and all because they wanted to know a lot about it and that, that's normal for, for them to come in for an apprenticeship to talk about that and they asked me how I was going to make sure that they had a long-term career and not just a job for the next five to ten years because my industry is changing a lot's going to electric vehicles they're like well these people can't work on those. those these, these technicians can't work on those cars because they're totally different. Well, no, we're training for that. So the fact that it was asked, uh, you know, what we're going to do to make sure that they have a career, I, it really surprised me, but I loved it. I'm like, you know, and I'm here to make sure they have one. That is, I want to make sure so we're tooling, we're training, we're learning so that when the time's right, we'll be there and they'll be with us.